Sunday, the 1st of September 2019 St Albans, Hertfordshire, England The day that Germany declared Poland, you know, etc 80 years ago anyway War Oh dear Now this is a peaceful scene. <coughs> Reading the newspaper this morning, the Sunday Times, there was a full page article on Idlib and the hospitals and the fact that they're targeted. I'm sure I saw a figure somewhere of there are now three and a half million people in Idlib. They've all contracted into that one area for whatever reasons. The actual surgeons, and I used to work in orthopaedics at the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital, Stanmore, Stanmore for what it's worth. Now, they say they've got three lights on the wall. You know, green, amber and red, basically. Red means there's a bomb imminent. And the surgeons are saying, young men and women of courage, they just go on operating because, you know, that person is going to die. <laughs> if they don't. And they've got no medicine, nothing. Fresh water and everything, all of that. It's sort of off the radar at the moment, Syria. I've got a bit of a thing about Syria because they speak Aramaic still, and it's the language of Christ. So, especially the Lord's Prayer in Aramaic. Here we are in jolly old England, so materially. Fine, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Such a contrast to what I read about this morning. And it's not the only country where this stuff is going on. Hong Kong, I don't know, all over the blooming show. Now, I went to a Salvation Army uh, meeting this morning and the minister, lovely chap, he's 40s, he's got a lovely wife from Korea, South Korea, two children, Wan Ji Lee is his name and her name is different, I don't know why their names are different, but anyway, he picked on a passage in Galatians 6 2 for what it's worth about the law of Christ and he got it utterly wrong because <laughs> he spoke about the Torah which is the first five books of the Bible God's law and apparently there are 213 laws you have to either obey or not obey I mean do's and don'ts you either do them or you don't do them uh, the total is 213 laws so Moses you know the Ten Commandments and the rest is the Torah, the first five books in the Bible. Now, <coughs> Christ came to, not to abolish the law, God's law, as given to Moses on Mount... <laughs> how good I am. <laughs> but, excuse me, jolly useless. I can't actually, I'm not sure. Is it Mount Nebo? Or the other one? Um, <coughs> apologies if I got... Uh, the name of the mountain wrong anyway uh, the law of Christ what Christ says is there are two commandments 
Love God, love your neighbour as yourself. There are two commandments and he got it, he totally missed the point. He's a lovely chap, he's a very nice friendly fellow, but I sat there, you know, it's rude to leave. <laughs> anyway, these are the two commandments said in Old English. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind and all thy strength. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. a lovely day here in England. Not so hot. Last Sunday was 32, 33 degrees Celsius. Now it's just pleasant. 